Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Perfumes with Pat. So today I'll be doing a video, um, 10 perfumes for life. So if the world was coming to an end, these are the 10 perfumes that I would grab. If there was a fire, these are the, well, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't grab no perfumes if there was no fire. Or if the world was coming to an end, like, Lord Jesus, I'd probably go to hell trying to grab these perfumes, turn into a pillar of salt like Lot's wife. Um, no. But hypothetically, if the world was coming to an end, these are the 10 that I would grab, okay? We're going to jump right into it. <clears throat> and the first one that I would choose is Baccarat. Rouge 540 by MFK. You see it? This scent is, it, it's hard to explain. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like every time I smell, I fall in love over and over and over again. It's so beautiful. Sometimes it has like a disappearing act, but Everyone else around me, around me, smells it. Okay, and I, th I think the X straight would be a little bit better um, when it comes to you know smelling it all day. But I don't have that one as yet. But this right here is so gorgeous. Let me tell you some of the notes. Top notes of fron, jasmine, middle notes, amber wood, amber grease, base notes for resin and cedar. It's, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's so gorgeous and i know we hear this everywhere every youtuber talks about baccarat it's it doesn't take away from how gorgeous it is even if we're tired of hearing about it it's gorgeous and i absolutely love it okay number two i would choose is how fetty how fetty is by penhaligans it's Guys, it's smoky, it's spicy, it's woody, it's oody, it's vanilla-y, it's, it's gorgeous, it's so beautiful. It's like, ooh, it's gorgeous. And let me tell you some of the notes. So it has cypress leaf, saffron, and look like I like saffron, guys. Cardamom, um, armesia, bergamot, grapefruit, middle notes, Bulgarian rose, nutmeg, jasmine, Base notes, argwood, leather, cedar, sandalwood, amber, tonka bean, vanilla, musk. It's it's gorgeous, guys. It's it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's intoxicating. It's a scent that you always think about. I, I don't know. I think about it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm losing it, but it's gorgeous. That's Penhaligans. How fetty. All right. So the third one is <clears throat> House of Silage Passion de l'Amour. Ooh, this is like when you put on your little dress, your high heels, and you're going on maybe a business meeting, but you wanna look really sexy because you wanna knock them dead. Um, you're going to church, you wanna smell sophisticated, and you still wanna smell sexy, because I like to smell sexy in church. My husband is right next to me, so it's okay to smell sexy. This thing right here, it lasts all day. Like, this is the best, the best scent from House of Silage, in my opinion. I love it so much. I bought a second bottle just because I did not wanna be out of it. It's so good. It's so good, so good. I think I got my hair in it. It's so good. <laughs> okay, so I would also, the fourth one that I would pick is Shag Half Oud. And this is by Swiss Arabian. This is so inexpensive. The bottle is sexy. And it's such a sexy, incense oody, vanilla. Oh, it's so gorgeous, let me tell you gorgeous it has praline in there it has oud it has vanilla it has rose it has argwood which is the oud it's so beautiful it's so blend it's blended so beautifully it's so smooth it's intoxicated it's simply intoxicating like yes i would wear this in the winter 
And when that cold breeze hit it, it's like, ooh, come on, Jesus. <laughs> so beautiful, okay? That's Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. All right, and then another choice of mine would be <clears throat> ooh, Armani Pre Privé line, and this is blue turquoise. The bottle, I don't know why I bought this little, little silly little bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so sorry I bought this. I needed the big bottle, but this thing right here, it's so sexy. I don't know what they, well, I do know what they put in it, but just for the saying, for saying it, say, I don't know what they put in this thing that has made it so good. It's so good. It's so beautiful. It's sexy. It's dark. It's spicy. It's warm. Ooh, beautiful. Like, be you don't even need a lot. You just need a little spray because it's so heavy. It's like a beast mode. It's beautiful. Let me tell you some of the notes, okay, before I get away with myself. It has salt. It has incense. Black pepper. You can smell the black pepper, okay? It has the ylang ylang. It has Indian jasmine. It has vanilla, moss, and sandalwood. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I will be getting a bigger bottle. It's so gorgeous. All right, moving right along. We have Creed Adventus for her. This thing right here, this is different than all the other scents I've mentioned so far. This is more like a pick me up type sexy thing. It's mm, mm, so beautiful. It has green apple, bergamot, patchouli. So you could tell that it's like bright. It has lemon, you know. It has pink pepper, violet, musk, rose, sandalwood. It has black currant, peach, amber, lilac, ylang ylang. You could wear this all year round. It's a beast mode fragrance. It's so intoxicating. It's so sexy. Like this is one of the sexiest scents I have in my collection. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this. You can tell it's beautiful. Look at that den I put in it. Try not to use it. I mean, not really, but yeah. Ooh. Have to do that little dance because it's so good. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> Coco Mademoiselle. Before I, I discovered Baccarat and all of the others, my signature scent was Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. This, you could tell, look, like my sister didn't buy me another bottle. Sis, where's my bottle for Christmas? I, I didn't get a bottle. But this right here, a lot of people don't like it because it's so loud and obnoxious. It is loud, but you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. It's sexy. It's like when you walk into the room with this on, you are going to command attention, okay? It's like a pretty girl going on a date with hubby, you could wear this all year round. Summer, winter, spring, fall, all year round. Like, it's so gorgeous. This is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. You can tell I love it, because it's I only got a drop left, and I'm not gonna use it till I get a new bottle. <laughs> all right, moving right along. I just added Feve Deliciose by Christian Dior to my collection and let me tell you this is so i don't usually like scents that's so incensey but i don't know what's going on with me guys this stuff here woo, this stuff smells like jesus it's so good so good so good let me tell you the notes okay so it has lavender mints calabrian bergamot cherry freesia jasmine tonka bean madagascar vanilla caramel dark chocolate benzoin leather okay so beautiful guys so beautiful i mean beautiful this i wouldn't wear this in the summer it's it's a it's a more like a gourmand scent i wouldn't wear it in the summer i would wear it like fall um winter because it's so deep and incensey it's so gorgeous yes i have to you can tell i got the little baby bottle because i didn't think i was gonna like it because i'm not into gourmand fragrances but i think something has happened to me I think something has happened to me, okay? So, moving right along. 
Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Guys, I don't hear a lot of people talk about this one, but this is so beautiful. It's so, it's okay. So it's light, but it's a heavy hitter, which is, you know, is weird to say that, but it's so light and sexy. I wear this to bed. I could have swear I saw my husband's eye roll all night with this thing on. Okay. I was just giving it to him without giving it to him. Okay. This thing is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me tell you some of the notes. It has honey. It has rum. Maybe that's why his eyes was rolling. The rum. Oh yeah. You ever had that Jamaican rum? That Jamaican rum is like, a, what is it? A hundred percent proof. That thing will kill you. So the rum in this is so gorgeous, but they blended it so well. It's so smooth. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so gorgeous, okay? It has black orchid, jasmine, heliotrope, hyacinth, um, rose oil, orange blossom. It has a million notes in it. And you can't really, like, tell because it's blended so well. Like, it's so... Woo! beautiful and let me tell you it lasts all day i wore this because it's light you wouldn't think that it would last so long but honestly it does like i put my perfume on 7 30 every morning i get home this thing is still on me okay in my clothes on my seat belt just giving me the sexy vibes all day i love it okay and it was like a hundred and something dollars it was very inexpensive you know so listen this thing right here is beautiful. You know, not all the time you want to do like a boom in your face. You want to do something light and gorgeous. And that's that one does it, okay? All right, last but definitely, definitely, definitely not least is Atkinson, Her Majesty the Oud. I just got this in my collection. I wore it a few times and I put it in my top 10 because I love it. Now, Look at this bottle. I, they say it look like a flask. I don't drink, but let me tell you, I'll keep this flask. This is so beautiful, okay? Ooh, let me tell you the notes. It has Turkish rose, saffron, iris, base notes. It has oud, leather, and vanilla absolute. If you love Tom Ford, you would love Atkinson's line. So far, I have two of them, and I love uh, both of them. It's so, it reminds me of black orchid i do believe if you like black orchid you would like this one her majesty the oud it's so oh it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful oh my goodness yes so these are my top 10 if anything happened and i had to run and hold them in my bosoms and stuff them in places what i have these would be the 10 that i would definitely stuff and hide because they're so gorgeous now this was very hard like to pick 10 because you have so I have so many beautiful fragrances that I absolutely love. So for the sake of time, I mean, I tried my best to choose 10, but I know it's more than 10, but that I love, but I had to choose this 10. Ooh, it really was hard, guys. But let me tell you, any of these that you choose would be a wonderful addition to your collection, okay? They all make me feel sexy. They all make last forever. The longevity is gorgeous. The silage is gorgeous. Like, you would absolutely love these, okay? And that's it. That's it. 10 for life. 10 for life. I would never do this video again because it's too hard. 10 for life. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, okay? Thumbs up. If you have something you didn't like, you could thumbs down, but I'm happy you watch. Okay. Um, if you have a comment, put a comment in there. If you have something to say, if you have any of these, you tell me what would any of these be in your top 10. Um, subscribe also. Okay. If you know a friend and, you know, tell them to subscribe. Come on over. There's some great people over here. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule just to come and play with us. Keep on being safe. Keep on loving one another. Keep on being happy and great. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye, beautiful people.